or the day somebody or I mean approached me, somebody needed to be ministered to and mm. um, you know, in the Christian campus and um I was fortunate to be the one to minister to her and after that um, we just became friends and um she wanted me to mentor her and everything. Oh. So um so and, I first, and, and you mentored her. I <laughs> mentored her. You <laughs> mentored uh, her. You also course. wanted her to take her there according to her son. You know the, the truth of the matter is that at first there was no string attached. It was purely um more like a mentor mentee yeah. um, type of relationship yeah. you, you know and then of course um somehow we got so close um <laughs> it went from mentor mentee to becoming, somehow somehow yeah you know there are sometimes that those things just don't graduate to yeah. something mm. bigger than that but we got so close and then ideas started running through my head and um, i felt yeah, yeah. why not um, so that was our. So you now you now shot your shot. I did she shoot her shot. No, I was the one that did the shooting. <laughs> Interestingly, I, I I felt the friendship was strong enough to make um, the move. the relationship okay. to just um, kick on from there. So right. I did the shooting. Okay. And then um, I missed. You missed at first. Yeah, at first I missed oh. uh, because um, you know what we guys always think. Ah, oh, yeah, I think she's. How do you call it now? Crush or something? Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. There was no crush. You remember, that there was, was no crush. Then, those no. then there was no crush. Yeah, you yeah. had seven up. <laughs> 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 you, you know. Uh, so I, I I proposed and she said she was so disappointed. She was so oh. so disappointed. She she wasn't expecting it. And then of course you know, on the campus people have been telling her you and this your. Mm, spiritual father is he's, mm. he's going to go somewhere and then eventually i mean what she had been telling them no it's not like one of them right. it's mm. not going to be like that then right. i did and of course she said no then i i checked my heart and i discovered that actually i think this is the person i want um uh, so i kept on pursuing her the truth mm. of the matter is that um, it took me four years to get a yes wow. from her for Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's a long time. That's, that's like that's a, a bachelor, a bachelor degree. <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's track back a little bit uh, uh, to sure. why you're trying to woo her. Did you um, feel that um, you have some limitations? They yep. cross your mind mm. that she might not say yes because of your limitations. Well, when I was going to make the first proposal. Um, Maybe I, I didn't have that at the back of my mind. I thought, okay. yeah, this friendship is strong enough to uh, mm -hmm. make Let's us um, take it to another mm -hmm. level. But when she said yes, of course, I knew why. Mm -hmm. Not as if she doesn't like me, not as if we were not close. Um, but I have this ability. Um, um, okay, I think I'll be 55 this year. So oh. um, at age two, I had polio. So I'd lived with disability for like. Um, 53 years of my life right. you know so when she said no i knew i mean from there that okay it's mm -hmm. actually the disability mm -hmm. on the oh. left leg um, that must have caused it I, I thought it's gonna just be a walk through the park and then i thought i was going to be just like every other normal right. person right mm -hmm. but you know when she said no and then i kept going back at the point she said if you keep coming back it's gonna affect our friendship so i i gave her a break Okay. I said, okay, I'm going to look elsewhere. And every other place where I turned, I kept on getting the no. I knew it was because of the disability. But there was something I told myself. I I brought into my, I was conscious of the fact that there was something different about me. Mm -hmm. I knew it was going to be difficult for someone like me to get a lady to say yes. Right. Not because they don't like me. But of course, it goes beyond them alone. Yeah. What Extreme, will the friends yeah. say? Right. What will the family say? Mm -hmm. um, of all the four billion type of men on the surface of the heart, why this one with one leg? Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I told myself, I said, Carla, it's not going to be easy for you to get um, a partner, but it is possible. It's what you believe that you get. And I told myself, I said, I deserve the best in life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I deserve the best as a wife. If I keep talking to a lady and she tells me no, I know it's because of the disability, but I will tell myself, oh, all right, I've not found the best. Yeah. Mm. You understand? And um, 
that that was that was what kept me going on i kept on using that to encourage myself i told myself disability or no disability i'm going to be married in life. you're strong you have a very strong personality and, and i admire that a lot <laughs> thank you Sir, I, I wanted to speak to people out there uh, men women young old who are living with one disability or the oh, other yeah. who have seen their, the, their disability as some form of limitation mm. Uh, towards achieving whatever it is they want to achieve, mm. especially especially when it comes to their love life, is yeah. very important. C can you please address this? Yeah. Let them hear from you. All right, thanks, Sheriff. Um, you know one thing I just want every one of them to understand: at the end of the day, we are all human beings. Mm. Right. That's and, what matters, um, really. If we check it very well, the body that has that disability is just um, more or less like a house you live inside your house you are not disabled you are not you don't have any disability mm. yeah. everything about you is okay you know so at the end of the day when we talk about relationships even though people look at the carcass outside mm. but yeah. the real person you enter into a relationship with is the person of the inside right yeah. is that character right. so once you understand that i mean whatever shape your outside carcass may look like the real you is okay hmm. and you deserve relationship do, do you think the society see it this way you, you say the truth is that the society will never see it if you don't see it the way you want to see it if you keep yeah. saying it the way you realize i mean yeah. society yeah. sees it, it you are stuck you're and not you, going nowhere and be limited. You, you, you understand you're limited because they have told you hey yeah hmm. you have this <laughs> impairment you can't marry hmm. hey yeah it's you that must go beyond that regardless of what it tell you right. Yeah. It, right you know it's all about belief system what you believe is what you get yeah. what you tell yourself it's what happens mm. I, I hear you mr Cole. i hear you right. loud and clear okay. well, um, on this program we once okay. had uh, a blind lady who is oh, physically yes. impaired and she told us on this program yeah that she lost the love of her life because she couldn't see because yeah. she lost her sight so the family i mean the, the man the gentleman wanted her but the family did not mm. and she lost so many suitors like that yeah. i mean she's not seeing her blindness yeah. as as a, form a limitation of, yeah. a limitation but the society that's why mm. that's what that's what the, the reason for my question yeah. the society is seeing it as a limitation the society you know can i like just condemn her because of a disability yeah, yeah. Can, can we address this can we address the way the society looks at disability you, let, let me say um the truth is that when you talk about the society it's always been like this for ages whether it's in nigeria or asia or anywhere anyway, everybody well. believes um once you have this disability you are not entitled to some things in life not even employment mm -hmm. at some point you understand so that's why i always speak to the people that have the disability okay. you must go beyond okay. what the society say okay yeah. Consistent, yeah. Right. society told me a lot of things in life hmm. oh you don't deserve a job oh no you can't do this i was the one that told myself i believed in myself that i can do all things hmm. one thing that some people with disability i mean should just um, accept is the fact that when it comes to relationship, you're going to, I mean, you're going to get a lot of... It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy at all. See, because I also I, want to think that even average lady will tell you no at first. Mm -hmm. But we... Uh, she's laughing no 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 i'm not i'm not, I'm not laughing no, no no that's just because <laughs> that's just because it's a little bit funny i mean not to not to be sound funny or, or shame anybody or anything i mean a lady would say no to a guy who i'm sorry sir who isn't physically challenged now let's know I, I, I don't want to say that we're shallow minded but to be completely honest, a lady will tell you, looking at you first, at they will first, tell you, no, physically, yes. Me, yes. Maybe okay. when we start talking and mm. I see that, okay, I can actually see through your soul, I can right. see through who right. you are right. and not yeah. your physical carcass, mm. like you call it. And mm. then I said, you know, this is just, no, it, no, it, just it doesn't, mean, even, yes. it, should, it shouldn't mm. measure to the amount of love or care or what mm. I feel for you inside. Right. But mm. then it takes a very little, a small number of people to actually see past that. Yeah. Um, my question now. Okay. Let me just ask you, sir. Um, I've been writing down. I, uh, you first of all, the way that you speak, 
it, it it draws me in so i don't even see the color of your outfit by the way you look lovely um so it draws yeah, me I was in gonna, i was gonna say that <laughs> i don't I was, even I was see anything say that else first, but i didn't want it to sound the way that you just capture like i'm trying to break some law <laughs> <laughs> you look really amazing like you, uh, like you it are is by her idea. <laughs> you are hot uh, can i use the word yes, okay. yes. all right yeah you can continue <laughs> okay um so sir um from everything you said, I've, I've 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 heard that you self encourage yourself. Yeah. You tell yourself, "Oh, I can do this. I deserve this. I deserve better." But what other coping mechanisms do you think that other people who um, are living with one disability or the other can and should apply? Because not everybody is as strong as you are. Some people, maybe after the first, "Will you marry me?" They will just go back to their shell or just be depressed and will never ever say hi to a lady If I, if I will be consistent again. for six months, do I? Even <laughs> I think, yeah. I think, will you marry me? Is even far. Will you go out with me? Is the first step. <laughs> I mean, you get you get turned down no, from even no. asking a girl out or guy you, out. You, you remember one of the discussion we actually we brought up is that some people, like an Avino girl, some told me that they are. Uh, fiancé or their dates always want to go out with them in the night. Mm -hmm. are... <laughs> yeah. I say stop if the person can't go out with you in the day, then the person not also come in the night. <laughs> so so they because actually they have seen that this person character wise everything is good. But because of the perception, you know, so how do we address that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Let, let's start with the coping yes, mechanism. Yes. The coping. Yeah. You you see, um Thank you for that question. One thing I want, even people that don't have disabilities, one thing you need to do is, um, it's all about your mindset. Hmm. You need to set your mind right. You know, set it right from the onset. Um, of course, like I told myself, I think I proposed to four, five, six, I can't remember. Maybe See, like, like, wow. you know. Just like sow your seeds because you don't know which one would cash. You, you understand. <laughs> and, you, 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 you know, and um, you know, when I had gone, then I came back to the lady I started with and I said, No, she's the first love. And um, I, hmm. I sat on her and um, I kept on going back. And then, but of course, keep praying. That's one of the things I tell okay. people. I mean, there's a way God works on your behalf also. Mm. If you trust him, you get what you want. Mm -hmm. I, at the point, I knew what I wanted, and I sat with what I wanted, and I kept on praying about mm. what I wanted. And, um, it, it, you know, the last proposal that I made, I discovered that there was no way I was going to be able to talk and speak from my heart. So I decided to put my final proposal into writing. Wow. Yeah, wow. some like six pages of um, six pages. <laughs> That's a lot of pages yeah. and a lot of ink. Yeah. Ah, a lot of my the lady finished. No, I needed, I needed to, <laughs> to pour, express. I needed to pour my heart out and express myself and let really? her know. Um, if you say no again, um, it's not going to hurt I think that again. just did the magic. So I know. will need to borrow the scripture because <laughs> I'm still writing. I've not completed a page. No, no, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> You, you know, so at the end of the day, it's going to be your mindset. You need to prepare your mind. You know, um, it, it, it's just like in business. We tell you, if you, if you, for you to get a client, then you must be talking to almost like yeah. 10, yeah. 10, 12, yeah, 15, 20 clients. Mm -hmm. Then at the end of the Maybe day, you one get or one two. or two. <laughs> you, you, you understand? But the problem is that people give up so soon. Mm -hmm. People can't push. You get... Um, you get to that brick wall the first second or third time and you say oh they are all the same no they can't mm. all be the they same at all same, uh, yeah. you know and once you succeed like my wife thank god for her god bless her so when i was able to cross over and break into her heart you you, you, you understand there was yeah. no going back yeah she was able to convince every member of her families mm. that no this is who i'm going with and um there is no turning back, no turning back. Huh? Thank God she, that she took that well, What did she tell you about how easy or hard it was convincing the member? No, no, it wasn't easy. Even after we got married, um, the battle was still on. Mm. You, you, you understand? Because um, it was just her against every other person. Oh. It's my choice and that's what I want. And then everybody was forced to accept her choice, mm. but not accept the man that was the choice. Mm. 
yeah, you, you know. Mm. So um, and then of course we got married, and then the babies weren't coming coming at time. I mean, on time. It took seven years for them to come. Right. And say, yeah, we told you. As if the disability affected the infertility. Right. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah, we told you. Right. We told you. Right. You, you know, uh, Mr. Kola, you know, uh, Daniel, I know that you, it's possible that you don't usually take calls, uh, but I feel like we need to speak to Lagos yes, on this particular do. issue. A lot we of do. people um, are listening right now, and uh, one person might just have a word or might just need a word from Mr. Kola directly. Okay. Um, if you have our lines, please try and call, they're calling already. But if you <laughs> don't have our lines, please share, yeah, share our phone lines, yeah. yeah. Uh, why we're taking call? I just want to. Um, why would call us uh, okay. on zero one two seven seven zero nine nine three zero one two seven seven one nine nine three zero one two seven seven two nine nine three and zero one two seven seven three nine nine three. This is Nigeria Info. We are listening. Hmm. Yes, Daniel. Why am I about to take a call? I just want to uh, put it to Mr. Kola. It is not just. Is it just on the person you're going after, or is it that you also have to work on yourself to prove that? You're the reasonable person for the other. Um, Does it mount extra pressure on you mm -hmm. as a person? That's of, what that is. In terms of building so, yourself right. to come up to be that person that that person will actually want. No, you have to do that. Okay. You, you in anything you need to keep working on yourself. Okay. You, if if you're somebody down there and then you get somebody, mm. you're gonna pull her down with yourself. Mm. So you mm. need to be up. You right. Need to, you need to know what you want with in life and okay. what you want with life and then put yourself there. Okay, Mr. Okay. Kola. Let's see who we have here. Hello. What's up, Lagos? We can't Hello. hear you. We can't hear you. But we have to move on to other calls. Hello? Hello. What's up? What's up? My name is Antonia. Hi, Oh, you're the one. Oh. Oh, fantastic, Antonia. Talk to Mr. Kola. He's here. He's listening to you. Okay. It's sorry that you didn't like tonight. Okay. I had over 10 guys. They're having me of two years. And why those guys are saying, well, I was also improving myself. Hmm. I needed to learn how to cook for myself. Yeah. I needed to learn how to do my laundry. Because those were the points of so family were pointing at that. How would you take care of your side? How would you take care of your side? How would you take care of your house? So why they were expecting their points? I was carrying out my points. Just, just to be clear, you're, you're physically impaired, right? Yes, visually. Visually impaired, rather. Right. Wow. Thank you so much, Antonia. So now you're married, Antonia. Yes, I'm married. Fantastic. Wow. What's, what's your husband's testimony now? <laughs> it's a testimony there. <laughs> okay, okay. Antonia, thank you, thank you so much for talking to us. Appreciate it. Thank this you so much, up. Antonia. You know, that was a fear of um, my wife. She felt, I'm going to marry a non entity, I'm going to be marrying a liability hmm. um, that won't be able to do anything in the house. Once it sits there, it's sitting there. Can't hmm. help. We won't go to the it's laundry. basically just useless. Yes, mm -hmm. just useless. Mm -hmm. Uh, but she was so shocked and surprised that um, I can do all That's things. not the case. That's not the case. In case I drive my car, I do my things myself. And, uh, I mean, it, 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 the truth is that people have very wrong opinions yeah. and um, I mean, the way they think... How do we the, correct this perception? I'm, I'm, I mean, um, time, time is gone. Sheriff, I, I'm I, sorry. I need to correct yes. that, but we'll be back, guys, in a little while. We have to pay our bills. Okay. <laughs> Lagos, the show still continues. Mr. Kola is here, Daniel Oguchi and Sheriff on WhatsApp Lagos. Do not go anywhere, guys. Stay with us. Stay with us. 